Thank you so much for your purchase from Mariana. This guy will be on your her way to you very, very soon. But this is a how to use your puppet video and what's in the box. In the box you'll get a puppet, you'll get a magnet. There'll be a small magnet somewhere. Please don't lose it. You'll also get a plate. Um, where did I put the plate up? <laughs> There's a plate here. Um, you stay there. I need, I need you to stay there. So with the plate, it's be straight when you get it. So you bend it with your fingers just so that it, it, it ends up on two sides so that it fits nicely over your shoulder and this, this plate will go underneath your shoulder so that it's underneath the top most layer of your clothing so you can't see it when you're wearing it. If you're using the magnet, magnet goes on top of this and then the clothing goes on top. That's how you use that. There's also a clear plastic coating on your, um, clear plastic coating on your, you can see the bubbles there. Um, clear plastic coating on the metal plate, just take it off and you get it. It will be hard, to, a little bit hard to see, but if you run your fingers over those a few times, you'll get it up. There's a plastic coating there. That's just to protect it when I'm making it, so I just leave it on because it's there when it's being made. Um, as for your puppet, here is a look at your puppet. Here's a long tail. And a close up look at the puppet before I set it. So, like everyone, oh, if, if, pup, pu if your puppet's been in a box for a while and like storage and the t cord is curled, when you store it away, the straighter this cord is, the better the puppet will move side to side. So to uncoil it, if it's got a coil, it, this is currently gravity, but if it's got like a more of a coil when, when it's sitting out like that, you want to grab it and just bend it like this, just against the coil along the ray, just a gentle, um, you know, bend so that it's straighter when you leave it flat. Now, how do you use the puppet? Put the, once you've got the puppet the right way, um, or puppets love to do exercise. Everyone likes to do exercise before they go out for the day. So do your puppets. So to exercise your puppet, you hold the body and you turn its head. And just make sure all the fur, you can hear, you can feel the fur underneath here will be stiff at first. But if you do this for a little bit, just before you go out for the day or go out to um, show off your puppet, it will just make it nice and free to move. It just allows it a bit of stretch in the fabric. Once you've done, you put your puppet on your shoulder so it stays nicely. You grab your cord for behind you. If you're doing one-handed, you can hold it like this. Hold the black in your hand and push down on the brown and that will make it go up and it should go back down by itself. See, like that. And you can exaggerate it like that. You'll get, you'll get the use of how okay, you want to do it. But if I'm doing it one-handed, this is what I'll do. You don't do the side to side, but this is enough to get people's attention when you're doing one-handed. Put it near your lap um, and you will get people going, is that real? Um, if you want to make it do all the, if you have two hands to make it turn, you hold this, you turn, hold this, you turn. I'm holding the tension and I'm turning. So sometimes I'll do it at the same time and you get more experience. And then one extra lift will get you that extra little bit of turn. You let go and I'll go back to the middle, turn the other way, turn, turn, hold, turn, hold. Oops, let go and hold. And then one extra lift will get you a little bit further. See, it's almost looking back now. And a combination of this, I'll do it so you can see it, a combination of this We'll get it looking both ways. So usually what I, this a habit, I'll go to one side and then do an up. And then I'll go back to the other side. It usually gets the most attention and then go an up. And that's sort of what I do in a combination of this. But normally all you really need to do is this, this, and that's enough to get people like, what's that? And the other thing you can do is go, in it goes, out it goes. You just kind of move your shoulder around. It gives it also a bit of like movement. I hope this helps you with your puppeting. And I'd love to see more of your work as you get going. I'd love to see what you're wearing is what I meant. Like what you're, not what you're wearing. I'd love to see how you dress this guy up with your costumes or whatever you're deciding on doing with it. And I hope you have a really good day. Thank you very much.